The Disappearance of Flight MH370 Background and Flight Details Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 was a scheduled international passenger flight from Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia to Beijing Capital International Airport in China. On March 8, 2014, the Boeing 757-200ER aircraft took off at 12.41 a.m. local time with 227 passengers and 12 crew members on board. Initial disappearance. Approximately 38 minutes after takeoff, at 1.19 a.m., the plane made its last voice contact with air traffic control, ATC, while flying over the South China Sea. The final communication from the cockpit was, Good night, Malaysian 370. At 1.22 a.m., the aircraft's transponder, which communicates location and altitude data to ATC, was switched off. The plane then deviated from its planned flight path, turning westward and crossing the Malay Peninsula. Radar and satellite tracking military radar continued to track the aircraft for another hour as it traveled northwest over the Andaman Sea. After losing radar contact, satellite communication data, handshakes between the aircraft and a satellite, indicated that the plane flew for an additional six hours, suggesting it ended up in the southern Indian Ocean. Search and Rescue Operations the search for flight MH370 initially focused on the South China Sea and the Gulf of Thailand, where the plane was last seen on radar. As new information emerged, the search area expanded to include the Andaman Sea and later the Southern Indian Ocean. The search became one of the largest and most expensive in aviation history, involving multiple countries and agencies, theories and speculations. Various theories emerge to explain the disappearance of MH370. These include pilot hijacking. Some speculate that Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah deliberately diverted the plane for unknown reasons. Hijacking or terrorism. Initial suspicions included hijacking or terrorist acts, but no credible claims or evidence supported this theory. Mechanical failure. A catastrophic mechanical failure might have led to the loss of communication and control, fire or rapid decompression, scenarios involving onboard fires or rapid decompression, incapacitating the crew and passengers, were considered. Hypoxia event. Theories suggest a loss of cabin pressure causing hypoxia, lack of oxygen, which could render everyone on board unconscious. Debris discoveries. Over a year later, in July 2015, a flaperon, a control surface on the wing, from MH370 was found on Réunion Island in the western Indian Ocean. Subsequent searches found additional debris on coastlines in the Indian Ocean, including parts of the wing, fuselage, and interior. Official Investigations in July 2018, the Malaysian government released a report concluding that the plane's course change was likely deliberate, but did not assign blame to any specific individual. The lack of concrete evidence meant that many questions remained unanswered. Ongoing Search Efforts The primary underwater search ended in January 2017, after covering 120,000 square kilometers, 46,000 square miles, of the southern Indian Ocean floor. In 2018, a private company, Ocean Infinity, conducted a new search but also failed to locate the wreckage. Despite the end of official searches, the mystery continues to intrigue and baffle investigators and the public alike. Impact and Legacy The disappearance of flight MH370 led to significant changes in aviation safety and tracking protocols, including the implementation of real-time tracking of aircraft, it also highlighted vulnerabilities in existing systems and the need for improvements in global cooperation and technology. Conclusion The disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 remains one of the greatest mysteries in aviation history. The loss of 239 lives, coupled with the lack of definitive answers, has left a profound impact on the families of those on board and the broader aviation community. The story of MH370 continues to captivate and perplex, reminding us of the vast and often unpredictable nature of our world.